Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about terrain. Now, what we're going to cover in this video is how to import terrain assets off the asset store. You can get a lot off the asset store. It's uh, pre-created stuff that other people have done. We're going to show you how to create a terrain, how to manipulate the height of it, and smooth some stuff, put some textures on there, put some trees on there if you want, put some grass. We're also going to talk about detail meshes and wind zones. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the terrain assets. Now there's two ways we can do this within Unity. We can either go to Window Asset Store and wait for that to pop up, search it, and then download it, and that's how you'll get a lot of the online asset store stuff. Or we can just go to the Import Package under Assets and go to Terrain Assets. This is one of the basic ones that's built into Unity, so we can easily do that. This window is going to pop up, and you can just click Import. And now if you look down here, we have our standard assets folder with terrain assets inside of it. Now we're not going to directly mess with any of this stuff. This is just so that we can use the terrain editor better. So right now we have this plane. It's not really interesting at all. It's just this flat plane that we've been having our player on. So we're actually just going to delete that. And we're going to go up to Game Object Create Other Terrain. And this will give us a terrain. So now we've got our flat terrain, and I'm going to talk about the terrain component that is on this. Now there are a bunch of different things you can do with the terrain, and I'm going to explain each one of these. And you can see there's a terrain collider on here as well, and it will create tree colliders automatically, because that's set. It's not a trigger, so you're not going to fall through it if you hit it, if we just play. It's just going to fall onto the... Thing. And you can see he bounced a little bit, and that has to do with physics materials. I'll be getting into that in a later video. So one of the things I like to do is I like to get a bird's eye view when I'm dealing with the terrain, right? So we've got our terrain here. So what we can do is we can go to the Raise Lower Terrain tool, and you see it gives us this brush, and we can click and drag, and click and drag, and if we go down and look, you can see that it's created a little bit of a hill, right? And when you get down to the player's view, they look like pretty big hills. Well, this is how we're going to create height in our terrain. So we just click regularly to create some height. And if we click Shift, it'll actually bring it back down shift click lowers the height. So if we look at the bottom here in the settings we see brush size and opacity. Now the brush size is pretty much self-explanatory. It changes how much area the brush will affect and the opacity is the strength how it's going to affect it. So if we turn it down you can see I'm clicking right now it takes a little bit longer but if I bring it all the way up boom it's much more effective at bringing the area up. So talking about the tools we have here the first one is raise lower terrain. I've shown you what that does. The next one is paint height. Now what you can do here is you can actually take the height of something. I'm actually going to go back and bring the height up quite a bit. Okay, so we've got our little plateau here. And we can actually paint height and shift click this. And now that is our height. So will never be able to go higher than that unless the terrain is already higher than that and in that case you'll never be able to go below that if I shift click the bottom right it's going to bring it towards that height even when I'm not shift clicking now that I've painted that height it's going to bring everything down to the ground level if we go to the smooth height that's pretty much exactly what it says I can go back do this again give us a little plateau and we can smooth it out a little bit and it just smooths the rough edges makes it more land like the paint texture tool now we're getting into the textures what we can actually do is we can go to edit texture add texture and this we can go through and see any of these textures I'm the, most of these are built in with the terrain assets I guess we'll just do some dirt and we don't have a normal map for it which is fine and you can see, let's go ahead and play it. So you can see now, our terrain is kind of coming up where we brought it. 
and our player looks way out of place but the ground has dirt on it. We can add another texture for the grass. We select it in the texture box and then we can paint it onto the ground. Now if we hit play you'll see we've got this grassy area with the sand dunes on the side as we painted the texture over top of our background texture of dirt. One thing to look at here is there's a target strength and this is actually like how strong it gets painted on. So we can play again. You can kind of see the sides are a little bit different. It's kind of hard to see from here. What I'm doing is I'm painting this light uh, dirt onto this and the target strength is kind of like the opacity or the strength of the texture and what these textures are are really small samples of tiling textures it's just a small picture that tiles seamlessly over the entire thing and that's the same with the grass and anything that you paint on a terrain next is the place tree tool so we can add a tree here and we have to assign a tree object we have the one palm and we can add that and we can either mass place the trees where it will sporadically just place trees or I can do it myself and you can kinda see I'm creating like a forest and if we press play you can see all the palm trees that I put into the scene you can actually get a little bit closer yep so it looks kinda awkward because they're all the same tree and the texture on the ground is all the same you know you'd want to make that a little bit more detailed probably with a normal map or something but this is how you would do a terrain